My name is Libby Mitchell. I am currently the social media coordinator for University of Utah Healthcare. Prior to that, I worked in uh, news media for close to 20 years. So I've uh, my career has always been in communications and media. Um, we came to the community village through my husband. Uh, he's he's an educator. Um, I hadn't really thought about it all that much prior to that. Um, I thought about my daughter's hair. I thought about um, making sure that she saw people of color uh, in our lives and that there were people of color in her life. But I hadn't really, I hadn't really thought about her journey as, as, a, as a person of color. Um, and I hadn't thought about um, how I, I would play a role in that and how my husband would play a role in that and how a community needed to play a role in that. I kind of just thought, you know, if we're raising a competent kid who sees herself represented, we have books, we have dolls, um, everything will be fine. But what I found with the village is that th that's just going through life with blinders on. That's just going through life with you know, high hopes, but, you know, it's kind of like I would never take a test without studying for it. Um, and this was my studying. So this was, you know, going in and realizing that my it's not just about books and dolls. It's about realizing the, and being outraged at things I see on the news. It's about doing something for that outrage teaching my daughter about that outrage, teaching my daughter that, you know, she's more than her skin color and her skin color is wonderful. If you are a parent of an African-American child and you are not African-American, you can't do it alone. Simple as that. You need a community that can help in the raising of your child. I mean, we all needed a community because children are children. But you need to be able to give them an outlet. There are going to be things that they aren't comfortable talking to you about. There are going to be times when you'll ask a question about, well, you know, what do you think about this story on the news? What do you think about um, what's going on in, in your classroom? You know, did something happen in your classroom? And they won't be comfortable talking to you about it. Uh, and the village will really give you tools to talk to them and to talk about, you know, navigating color in a world that is still pretty racially divided. I mean, we, we, we don't like to think that way. And if you look on the internet, anytime that you post a story about the racial tensions in this country, you'll find a bunch of people saying, there are no racial tensions, you're just creating them by talking about them. But that's not the truth. And so the community village gives you a place to not only talk about it, but find solutions to it. My most important takeaway from the community village is that I don't know it all and that you have to be willing to, uh, to ask for help and be willing to accept help that you may not think you want at the time, but you need. Um, I am not very good at taking constructive criticism, especially when it comes to my child. And I would say that the community village made me more open to that uh, because it's not about me. It's about my kid, um, and I would do anything for her. So now when people approach me um, with suggestions um, about hair or behavior or anything like that, I'm more open to it because I realize that it's not criticism, tor criticism towards me. It's the village raising my child. Is that good? It is. That's great. great. One more thing. Okay. Since having participated in the community village, yes. 
what do you feel empowered to do as a parent for your child that you didn't feel empowered to do prior to being a member of the community village? I'm much more of an advocate for my child now. Um, and I'm much more aware of racial microaggressions that may be targeted towards my child. Um, I'm very aware that while I view her as the sun and the moon and the stars, there may be times when because of her skin color, she is not being treated equally and I'm making sure that she's getting that equal treatment um, in school, in extracurricular activities. Uh, yeah, everywhere. You know, I, I'm making sure I'm very, I don't, I, I don't want to say hyper aware, but I am very, I'm more aware now of how people may be viewing her differently and how that may be skewing her chances in the world. And I'm making sure that the skew goes back. Okay. Good. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah, her, uh,